course, with all these hot days, no better way than to cool off with a refreshing fruity brew. brew. And this summer, uh, Great Divide is teaming up with DJ and producer, is it Grizz? Grizz. Awesome. Uh, for a collaboration beer. And uh, this beer is a Great Divide peach saison. And joining us this morning with all of the inspiration behind it is Shannon from the Great Divide Brewing Company. Thanks Welcome for having to the me. show. Thank you. So tell us all about this because I have to say, I, I saw you guys post about it on your yeah. Insta story and I was like, oh my God, we got to have them in. We got to see what's going on at, over at the brewery. Yeah, and you're perfectly coordinated. I know. Yeah. And yeah. I, yeah. I, I, know. Did it. I know. <laughs> better than I did on that. So, one. how did you guys come up with this idea? So when Grizz and his team reached out last year, um, he was about to release Chasing the Golden Hour. And okay. so he wanted to come up with a beer that would be perfect for sitting on a rooftop, watching the sunset, and listening to his music and drinking yeah. with friends. Cool. So the imagery of all of that and kind of coming up with a light, refreshing style, uh, paired well, I with something yeah. that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. Go. Try cheers. It. There you go. Cheers, cheers. I was going to say, why is Saison? Um, we wanted to do something that was light, that was approachable, but that also sort of had the inspiration of this chasing the golden hour idea. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see from the artwork, the peach, yeah. it's like the sunset. Mm -hmm. So uh, it just sort of worked out to do peach saison, light, refreshing, tart, a little bit of sweetness, but also a dry finish. So a really easy drinking beer to go to a summer concert, to yeah. hit up Red Rocks this weekend with. Well, 32 ounces. That's yeah. <laughs> 32 <laughs> ounces of it. I mean, come on. In a few minutes. He is one. actually performing at Red Rocks. He's I performing saw. at Red Rocks. And what is sort of his collaboration with you guys? Like, how are you guys partnered up together? Yeah, so he, he was pretty involved. He's an incredibly creative guy. Uh, so outside of his music, he's really um, interested in other avenues of kind of showcasing art. So oh, he came cool. into the brewery. He was really collaborative with with us and what the style would be. He even made a video for the launch mm. with us and kind of went through as the or nigh the science grizz or something <laughs> like that. And uh, Just talked to all the brewers. I, I know, I know. <laughs> it doesn't flow off the tongue. Mm -hmm. the same. But uh, so he was super collaborative in this whole process of making it something that also represented his music and what he would want to drink with his friends too. Very cool. And is this artwork, is it from like his album or something or how did you <clears throat> get that on the can? So year one was directly from his Chasing the Golden Hour uh, mixtape that he released last year. Oh, cool. And then this year it was sort of a different take on it, following a little bit of the same style but uh, using a little bit more of the inspiration behind the beer to showcase on yeah. the can. Well, we got to run, Very but cool. where can people get this? Can they get this at the brewery? They can. You can get it at both of our locations, and you can also get it on draft at the Ogden for his show tonight cool. and at Red Rocks All for right. his sold-out shows this weekend. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming in. That'll yeah, do it for, for us. We'll me. see you back here for News at 11. Have a great day, everybody.